Hey folks, Paul Lawrence here from DriftlessNow.com. Coming to you not live but recorded from Arena, Wisconsin, which is just south of Spring Green, Wisconsin, in the Wisconsin River Valley. Now we're here at the Birdhouse Inn, which is also a bed and breakfast. We're being hosted by the owners, Emily and Anna, uh, today. And what we're going to do is we're going to take you through this, uh, this gem of a place and show you all the different amenities, the beautiful rooms, the layout, and some of the views. It is a little cloudy out today, but I'm telling you, the views are spectacular anyway. So we hope you enjoy this little tour we're going to give you of the Birdhouse Inn located in Arena, Wisconsin. Okay, so we're going to start this little tour of this gem of a place called the Birdhouse Inn, located in Arena, Wisconsin, just south of Spring Green. They have an open house going on today, so let's go in and take a look and show you what this place is all about. So as you can see here, uh, that's where we uh, kind of opened up this whole segment here. There's really not too much I can say. Uh, really, you would need to come here and see it yourself, but we'll kind of narrate a little bit but they have this grand room here with a beautiful fireplace and they also have the welcome cat named rita hello rita so i'm sure she's there to make your experience a little bit nicer here but uh you can see they have beautiful sitting room uh sitting room here nice fire vaulted ceiling and what we'll do is first we'll take you up this staircase up here. Reach your little book off the shelf if you like to just sit back and read and relax for a little while. All wood floors, wood siding, or, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful place. You can even converse with your friends when they're sitting down there reading. So they have uh, a few different bedrooms and setups here. And every room has some sort of view. Oops. I turn as many lights as I can. So as you, like I said, what every room has a beautiful view and skylights are themed throughout the whole place just amazing absolutely amazing windows galore skylights galore vaulted ceilings galore and I really thought this was a really neat so this this bathroom has a whirlpool tub and it has a seating there and it has a beautiful shower that just drops like the water like rain and this room is really really neat and they have uh, ceiling fans just about in every room like I said, vaulted ceilings, just gorgeous. And then even up, there's a little sitting area. Then there's a little loft up there where you can have someone sleep and stay. Like I said, just about every room has a beautiful view of the valley. And that's kind of overlooking spring green down there. And then also... The Wisconsin River Valley. Just beautiful. Wrap around deck. This kind of reminds me of just a, a little getaway way out where you won't be disturbed. Just beautiful. All the wood. By now, having read the article, you have heard that they had uh, closed on this place in May of this year, I believe it was. This beautiful glass, beveled glass, French doors. 
and they opened up in July. And to think this is just the beginning of this house. Just one level. And of course, Rita the house cat, keep you nice and comfy. So let's go to another level and area of the house. So just off the main room here that we just showed you, the fireplace, they have a beautiful sunroom, I guess you could call it. Absolutely beautiful. Skylights again galore. Place to just lounge. You feel like you're right in nature. Looking right out, kind of right into the hillside here. Place to have a snack or whatever. And I guess it's kind of like a mini arboretum. They have all sorts of different little plants here. And even they have a recently rescued plant. This plant right here, beautiful. You come in here and you can read. So I'll take you down to this level down here. And there's, it's, uh, it's cool outside, quite cool. It is in November second weekend of November and it's warm in here they have these little heaters all over but they have large windows so it really gives it that open feeling to outside just amazing and beautiful artwork and again Skylights galore and all the wood just absolutely amazing. So back here they have in this lower level they have two little suites here. Sitting, uh, kind of like a sitting area here. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's a great, you know, great that they have all these windows. So it lets in a lot of natural light. So at least in the daytime, you really don't need too much, you know, of any type of lighting, additional lighting. And like I said, all just about all the rooms, they have ceiling fans, which... It'd be great in the wintertime to push the heat back down in the summertime to pull the uh, cool air up. Beautiful, beautiful room. Each room is just a, decorated just a little bit differently. So it kind of makes them unique, gives them their own kind of style, I guess you could say. Or I guess you could also call it a feng shui. If I said that right. <laughs> We're sophisticated here at DriftlessNow.com. But like I said, there's not much for me to really say or narrate. Oops, I'm catching myself in there. Goes out to a wraparound porch. Because, as you can see, the rooms and everything speak for themselves. Beautiful. You wish it was sunny outside, but this is the day that they're having their open house, and that's okay, because I'd rather be inside right now than outside. Then there's always a either a shared bathroom or a private bathroom in these. Just amazing. And then, yes, you guessed it, another skylight. It looks like a lot of white pine. And, yeah, that's a shower. That is a shower. And I love 
the way they have those shower heads. Just drop the water down just like if it's raining on you. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Get a load of this. Built into the corner with the mirrors on the other side. Hi! Huh. So that's the lower level, and what we'll do now is we'll take you to my favorite place where all the magic happens, the kitchen. And the kitchen area is absolutely stunning and beautiful. They have these wonderful countertops, the center island with a beautiful hood. Perfect for entertaining their guests for the bed and breakfast. Emily and Anna had made these treats for all the guests at the open house themselves. <laughs> and they were serving some of the food, their pork, from their actual farm here. Absolutely beautiful, open concept to the living room and fireplace. So, and joining right off the beautiful kitchen, we have the dining room also. Once again, seems to get a fireplace in here too. Beautiful decor. So we guess would enjoy their meals. And Emily and Anna also have local tips here. Places to shop, places to eat, places to enjoy a beverage, adult beverage. We also have a little note board. Looks like uh, maybe some notes that they've, oh, yep, people that have stayed here. Also have Bird House Inn printed cards. They also have Farmstead soaps available here for purchase. Rosemary, sage, plain, woodsy, face soap, gingery, floral. Like I said, folks, this place, uh, you really got to check it out uh, in person. So next time we'll go to the upper level where they have a couple more bedrooms. So here we are leading up the staircase up to the upper level here. The two bedrooms here. Once again, uh, they're individually kind of themed. Beautiful ceilings. You can't see it now, but there's a beautiful view of the valley there. Nice couch to sit and relax before maybe you go to bed. A shared bathroom, shower, sink. Little dark, the 
keep the lighting kind of to a minimum give kind of a mood to it in the evening time the open house started about two o'clock so it's getting a little dark out but the wood is just absolutely beautiful So that is the upper level bedrooms.